Hello, it's Mrs. Mendoza here, and I am going to go over our anchor chart that supports our summarizing biographies. So we're currently working on Civil War Unit, and this is our summarizing a biography anchor chart. I wanted to post this and discuss it a little bit so that you have some background information before you start creating your own biographies. So. In order for us to remember how to summarize a biography, it's really important that we remember the purpose of the summarizing. So we need to know who is the someone that you will be writing about. Who is the subject of the biography? That's extremely important. And I'm gonna let you choose whoever it is you want to write about. Um, there's thousands of books on Epic. I'm also sharing quite a few biographies with you on your Epic account. So you can choose who you want to write about. So again, it's important to know who is the subject of your biography. The next part is famous for. It's not a biography if we don't know what the person is famous for. So that's very important. What was that person's main accomplishments? Now there's a lot of famous people who've done a lot of great things, but we really need to narrow the focus. What are they famous for? For example, Sundra Truth, I have her picture right here, Right? What was she specifically famous for? Well, we all know she, she was a slave, right? And she did fight to get her own rights to be free, but that was not what she was famous for. She was actually famous for being the very first woman to be able to sue a slave owner in court. That's a really big deal. That's what she was famous for. So that's very specific and very, very narrow. So I, I want you to be that specific. The next part is the but. What struggle or challenges did the person face? A lot of our friends in these biographies have had challenges. What did they face? How did they face them? And how did they come out of those challenges? Uh, Sandra's Truth's biggest challenge was that her children were about to be sold to different families in the South. And she was a free slave in the North. So you can see how that could be a really big problem, right? And then we need to go to the next part. How did the person overcome it all? We always talk about perseverance, right? How did this person persevere? And then the very last part, so the person went on to do what? Sandra Truth went on to write books, to talk to people about slavery, and how she was able to be the first woman to sue someone in court um, for slavery. So that's a big deal. So now it's gonna be your turn to go on Seesaw and write a summary.